All right, guys, this is the long awaited, I think it's part five to the video of this uh, 91 Toyota Tac <laughs> Almost did it again. It's a forerunner. And uh, I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, it looks fantastic. Let me stand this way so you can see me better. It looks fantastic. This is not a show quality job. I can do much better than this. Um, the job was a gentleman contacted me. He is a Toyota and Lexus flipper per se. So he will buy low mileage Toyotas and Lexus and put a bunch of money in them because that's generally what they need is a bunch of money thrown at them. But the cool part about the ones that he buys, he buys them so right that he can put all that money in, still purchase the vehicle, then put all the money in it, then make a crazy good profit. And we all know Toyota and Lexus have a crazy good reputation for longevity, durability, and just general awesomeness. And, um, well, um, they receive or they, they bring in all the money. So, um, again, I, I was just, we were looking to make this thing look a lot better so that he can sell it. So check it out. There she is guys. If you remember from part one, I mean, literally all you need to do is watch part one and whatever part this ends up being five, I guess. And you'll see that this thing had an absolutely amazing turnaround. Um, if you remember, and I've mentioned it several times in this video, it had that nasty vinyl stripe all down the side and it presented an incredible challenge. Notice very little orange peel, if any, well, anywhere. <laughs> so this in my opinion, turned out amazing. And you cannot see any of the sanding scratches from where I removed that vinyl decal. The decal was literally embedded in the paint. I had to use 80 grit by hand to remove it. And if you're looking in this area where I'm showing you, you'll notice that there are no crazy dramatic popping out at you scratch marks at all. I did use, I put three coats of a high build primer on it and that seemed to cover them up pretty good. Well, I, so the real way to do it is what I did. I, I, I hand cut it all off with 80 and then I backed it out. I went from 80 to 180, then I went to 320 and then 400 and it just, it wasn't smoothing it out as much as I had liked. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's bury it with primer. And so that's what I had to do. I buried those scratches with the primer. Uh, it turned out amazing. And as you can see, this thing looks great now. So I used uh, the factory color. So this is Toyota 179. Uh, some call it uh, dark gray metallic. Some call it um, blue gray metallic. And uh, it does have a little bit of blue in it, but that gloss is serious. Um, it does have, I did put on a high solids clear coat. Uh, what that means is it has a little better gloss than a standard clear coat, uh, but will also be a little bit of a thicker build with less coats. Um, I mean, you can see that in the sun. I laid down the metallic really nice nice and even. I did that nice drop coat at the end and got it just looking freaking awesome. Super happy with how it looks. Um, he did mention this ding, but I couldn't get in there with my paintless dent repair tools in the back. There's a brace back there that holds the top kind of right behind it. But beyond that, it's got a nasty like square crease in it. And even if I could push it out, I probably couldn't get it 100% gone. So I didn't even bother with that until today when I came to untape it and do all the things I needed to do um, to get it ready for him to take it. But 
as you saw, I taped up all the trim. On these older cars, I do not recommend removing any of that trim uh, or the door handles or any of that because it is very likely you're gonna break something. And then the other problem is because this is so old and all these seals and stuff are so worn and sun beat, they are basically sun molded to where their position. And so if I were to um, remove them, not only would I potentially break clips and that kind of thing, I could possibly break the trim, but uh, the new, if I, if I had to buy new trim and put it in, it would not fit properly. So it is always best case scenario to go ahead and uh, just spend extra time taping. If, if you have to leave trim on, just spend the extra time. So there you go. If you need your car painted for a reasonable price, give me a call, 813-846-4406. I own Infinity Custom Works here in Tampa. Well, I'm sorry, my shop is where we're at today and it's in Holiday. So I do all kinds of stuff from metal fabrication to fiberglass work to paint to body work, like all kinds of stuff. If you've got an auto boat, RV, motorcycle, any of that, I can work on it and or restore it to as far close to awesome as you're looking for. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've got questions for me, if you're interested in maybe learning how to paint or something like that, if maybe you're a detailer, because mostly detailers follow me because of my detailing product line at detailjuice.com and Gary Dean Detailing is my detailing business which I have really rolled that into the Infinity Custom Works situation but um, if you are interested in learning more about this let me know uh, let me know if I should do some how-to stuff on on YouTube uh, my YouTube channel is about to change and morph into more of a you know custom shop situation versus just a detailing situation so all right thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day